He had a dark moustache and a pale, roundish face and dark eyes that became light brown when he laughed. He was George Butterworth, musician, pianist and composer. George Butterworth hated shams of all kinds and humbled every impudent insincerity that he met. He had opinions and the courage of them. He looked facts straight in the face and said what he thought of them. He was utterly unable and unwilling to pretend. But for anything genuine, warm-hearted and courageous, he had more than admiration. He had, in fact, genius for sincerity alike in art as in life. Few men can have been worse at making an acquaintance and better at making a friend. That ushers in the great age. The great age of English folk song collection is really 1903 to the time of the First World War. It's actually a kind of music almost of the dispossessed, of the disinherited. Oh, it's a captain lived by the seaside oh and he courted a farmer's daughter and he made her his bride oh at the core somebody like butterworth is saying this unlettered untutored man woman occasionally even child is singing a song which is a thousand years old which has real artistic meaning and beauty which makes it the equivalent of 
a piece of classical composition. That's what they're saying. To the banks of green willow. So I think it's quite wrong to criticise that period as being um, backward-looking. At the time, it wasn't. What we now perceive as the pre-First World War Edwardian period, when the sun was always shining, there was croquet on the lawn and tea at four o'clock, that's how we see Edwardian England. Therefore, I think this music kind of represents that period, but it wasn't like that at the time, was it? And, and it isn't really what it's about. It's for all time. It transcends the period as all good music should.